Hi, I'm Bradley Borner. I've teamed up with Blazer, Mauser and the Shooting Times to bring you a series on how to improve your rifle skills. I run a business called Professional Sport and Solutions. I had the professional skills as a professional deer stalker, um, having worked on private Highland sporting estates, also working for government organisations and then spending a period of time in the military where I was a sniper for seven years. I feel that the knowledge and experience that I've gained could actually help people like yourselves in improving your rifle skills. Hopefully by the end of it you'll go away and be able to employ what you've learned out in the shooting field and increase your ability to get good results. What we need to do is just strip the rifle down. You've no ammunition, no, uh, no bolt in there at all, and we need to be able to see up the bore of the barrel. And then we want to set the rifle up so that we don't have to touch it at all, um, and it's looking straight directly at an A4 sheet of paper. Get down behind the rifle, and then we'll be looking straight down the barrel. You're then going to use this back bag here by massaging it, manipulating it a little bit to adjust the elevation. And we're looking for a nice concentric circle so that the corners of the sheet of paper are actually central in the barrel. So what we want to do is bring your vertical and your horizontal crosshairs roughly on the centre of the A4 sheet of paper. What you need to remember at this stage is that when you would normally be zeroing, you always move the crosshair down to your group of bullets, okay? But when you're bore sighting, it's a bit of an optical illusion and we're actually going the opposite way. It doesn't have to be exactly on, but you want to get as close to centre as possible because then we'll move down onto the firing point. We know we're already on an A4 sheet of paper. We're not wasting rounds and we're getting a nice, uh, nice precise zero. Okay, so we've bore sighted our rifle. We're quite happy that the crosshairs are roughly in the centre of the A4 sheet of paper. The next thing to do is precisely zero in on the target. We want to fire three to five rounds from the same position, same point of aim each time. You want to have your rifle set up in a rock steady position rather than testing your marksmanship at this point. Quite a nice little group here. We wanted the bore sighting to put us somewhere on this A4 sheet of paper, which it's done. This was the aiming mark, our point of aim, and this is our point of impact with the mean, the centre of that group being roughly there. So we make an adjustment on the scope. Each box is an inch, and with our Swarovski scope, that equates to roughly three clicks per square. So from the centre of here to there is three clicks, to the centre there are six, nine, we'll take it to the right ten clicks. Because the elevation's not too far out here as well, we'll take the elevation up two clicks. You want to be quite bold in your adjustment. There's no point wasting time and wasting rounds, just moving little adjustments when it's hard to tell whether it's you that's maybe been pulling or flinching with a shot. You can always bring it back that little bit more when we're fine tuning, but you'll probably find the bolder your adjustments, the more close to target you're going to be. We've got our zero. This group illustrates a point quite well. You can see here the three shots and the centre shot 
is the mean point of impact. Now, if we tried to adjust the mean point of impact any closer to the point of aim, we'd probably end up mirror imaging the group on the opposite side because this scope adjusts at 10 millimeter increments each time. So to try and alter that point of aim anymore, you just end up chasing yourself round the same point of aim.